Good morning. It's another Psalm of David. Beginning of 2022, Islamabad, Pakistan. Stefan Heger, I'm reading with you. 64 Psalm. Where David expresses his relationship with the living God. Do you have a relationship? He longs to have one with you. Hear me as I tell you my problem. Don't let my enemies kill me. David was in trouble here. Are you in trouble? Like me and others? Let's turn to God. Hide me from those who make evil plans against me. Hide me from that crowd of people who are doing evil. They make their tongues like sharp swords. They aim their words like deadly arrows. Slander, gossip, bad by biking, backbiting, curses, criticism. Are you going through verse 3? Their tongues are like sharp swords. They aim their words deadly. Look. Like deadly arrows. They shoot from their hiding places at people who aren't guilty of doing anything wrong. They shoot quickly. They aren't afraid of being caught. They help each other. They make evil plans. They talk about hiding their traps. They say, who can see what we are doing? Verse 6. Read on in your Amharic, Urdu, Hindi, French, whatever Bible. Enjoy coffee with me as we read, but remember, verse 6, they make plans to do what is evil. They say we have thought of a perfect plan. The hearts and minds of people are so clever. But God will shoot my enemies with his arrows. He will suddenly strike them down. He will turn their own words against them. He will destroy them. All those who see them will shake their heads and look down on them. Everyone will respect God. They will tell about his works. They will think about what he has done. Do you think about what God has done for you? This is a spiritual warfare. Let's praise him for his might and power. And we are ending with verse 10. Let godly people be full of joy because of what the Lord has done. Joy to the world, to all men. Peace of God to all men. Verse 10, let godly people be full of joy because of what the Lord has done. Let them go to him for safety. Let all those whose hearts are honest praise him.